Welcome to the final video in the series of the Theoretical Physics MSc at Queen Mary University of London. I am Ricardo Monteiro, a member of the Center for Research in String Theory at Queen Mary. You have heard in several previous videos about the excellent taught modules of the Theoretical Physics MSc. This will give you the basic tools that you will need to enter the field of theoretical physics. I am not at the moment teaching an MSc module. What I would like to emphasize in this final video is that there is more to our MSc than taught modules. A crucial component of the MSc is the physics research project. This is an individual project focused on an actual research problem. In the past, it has sometimes led to papers in leading journals. You will be guided in this project by one of the professional researchers in our group. This is a fabulous one-to-one -one learning opportunity, which will give you a real insight into an exciting specific area of modern physics and also into what it takes to do research at the highest level. Let me give you an example of a project topic. I will tell you a bit about an MSc research project that I supervise. It deals with an intriguing relationship between the scattering of particles in quantum field theory, in general relativity, and in string theory. The topic is only about a decade old and has led to many important advances. It is the so-called double copy. The double copy expresses gravity as the product of two copies of a non-gravitational theory. What does this mean? Well, in physics, you may know that they classify particles by spin. On one hand, we have gauge theory, which deals with particles of spin one, known as gluons. Gauge theory is the basis of the standard model of particle physics, and the simplest example of a gauge theory is electromagnetism, where we have a single type of gluon, which we call photon. On the other hand, we have gravity, which deals with particles of spin two, known as gravitons. The double copy answers a very basic question, which is how can you think about interactions of spin two particles, gravitons, as doubled, in some sense, interactions of spin one particles, gluons? So what is the motivation? Why would we be interested in looking at gravity, Einstein's theory of general relativity, in a completely new way? Aren't we happy with the well-known Einstein equations? It sounds almost heretical to say otherwise. Well, the Einstein equations are indeed the best way to study many problems in gravity. But for other problems, using them is a real pain. They are just not practical. One of the great lessons of physics over the last few decades has been that we should always try to understand an important theory in many different ways. The more different, the better, because that will reveal unexpected connections between theories. It will show us new ways forward. So for Einstein's theory, what are the kinds of problems that will benefit from a new approach, in particular, the approach of the double copy? One of them is the problem of quantum gravity, which you probably have heard of. We cannot put together, using conventional methods, Einstein's gravity and quantum field theory, which is the application of quantum mechanics to particle physics. The rules of quantum field theory are perfectly good for the non-gravitational part of the standard model, but not for gravity. The problem can be seen when studying particle collisions. If we apply quantum field theory to the gravity particle, the graviton, we find a fatal problem. We get terrible infinities in the calculations of quantum effects. So it is important that we analyze 
those infinities in detail and that we try to understand how exactly they can be fixed in a proper quantum theory of gravity, such as string theory. These calculations, which traditionally use the method of Feynman diagrams, are incredibly hard. Analogous calculations in gauge theory are far from trivial, but are much easier than in gravity. So the idea is to do the calculation in gauge theory and then apply the double copy rules to get the results in gravity. This has been an important application of the double copy, but there is a more recent one. It deals with collisions of black holes in our universe and the gravitational waves that they produce. Since the first detection of gra gravitational waves a few years ago, this has become an incredibly active research area. At first sight, the scattering of tiny subatomic particles and the scattering of huge astrophysical black holes seem completely unrelated, certainly many orders of magnitude apart. It turns out, however, that the same methods of the double copy can be used in both problems. In fact, my work has shown that a black hole, which is a type of solution to the Einstein equations, can be thought of as a double copy of a solution in gauge theory. In the simplest case of spherical symmetry, the famous Schwarzschild black hole can be interpreted as a double copy of a gauge theory solution that some of you know already, the Coulomb potential generated by a charged particle. I am very interested in understanding the full implications of this. And this is the topic of the MSC project that I supervise. I said before that the double copy was also related to string theory. In fact, the double copy was originally discovered in string theory in the scattering of strings. It is one of many examples where string theory gave us a gift that we can use elsewhere, outside the strict remit of string theory. So in string theory, there are two types of strings, open strings, which have two ends, and closed strings, which form a closed loop. In string theory, gluons, the gauge theory particles arise naturally from open strings and gravitons arise from closed strings. Now, if you take two open strings, you kind of form a closed string. From that, it follows that the graviton is a double copy of two blue ones. Okay, I admit that the picture I made with my hands is a bit deceptive. It is not quite as simple as that, but it almost is once you know the basics of scattering in string theory. Quantum field theory, general relativity, string theory, these are all relevant to the double copy and they are also the backbone of our theoretical physics MSc. In fact, basically all taught modules in the MSc are relevant to the double copy. We have a great energetic team of academics at Queen Mary dedicated to the MSc program, not just in the taught modules, but also in the research projects. Your research project is a unique opportunity to have direct interaction time and research training with a top expert and to learn about the front lines of research in theoretical physics. So to conclude this video, and actually this series of videos, I want to encourage you to join the Theoretical Physics MSc at Queen Mary. We hope to welcome you soon.